Hi kids, it's Patty from Wakanda Area Library and today we're going to make a lucky springtime unicorn with a paper plate. Isn't it cute? I even made sure to, that it's extra lucky. Gave you a little shamrock there for the top of the unicorn. So let me show you what we're going to do to make today's craft. This is the kit that it's going to come with. So everybody's going to have a shamrock, assorted flowers, the brown piece is for the horn, and then you have the inside of the ears, and then you have a white piece for the outside of the ears. You can cut them any shape you want. I gave you an idea with the template. You can always change the shape if you want and make it a little bit smaller. So first, why don't we go ahead and we'll start with the horn. What you're gonna wanna do is just kind of make a rounded tip off the top, right? Because a unicorn's horn is a little bit pointed. So just take some scissors and curve that and then use whatever you have at home to kind of make some, some stripes. I'm just using a wax crayon. You can use glitter. You can wrap it with string. Just go ahead like that. And now when you press these on the back of the plate for the horn and the ears, you do have to press them on really good and give them a little time to dry because of the waxy feel of the paper. So just go ahead and push that down in all of the ridges. Why don't we go ahead and let's cut out the yellow of the ears. And like I said, if you want to change the shape, uh, my sample, I followed exactly. These ones I'm going to make a little bit smaller. And then we're going to do the white pieces. And the white pieces, you want to just do a little bit bigger. So a good idea is you can take these yellow pieces why don't you glue them on the white piece, one on each half, and then take the white piece, my little trick, cut it approximately in half, and now just follow the pattern on the ears. So we're just going to go around. And that's it. Start up at the top and curve down. Now we're going to meet up at the top there. There you have it. And then again, you're going to glue those on back. It takes a little time though to set that aside. So you kind of want to dump the plate upside down, glue on the ears and the horn, and then set it aside to dry. You maybe even can use a little bit of scotch tape to hold it on there in case you can't wait any longer. Let's go ahead and make this mystical, whimsical unicorn. Grab your flowers. So I'm gonna take the shamrock. I think because the shamrock is the biggest, that looks good right in the center, like that. And then you figure out how you want the flowers. Push those down. Just like so. I overlapped two of mine here, so just depending on what you get. And now let's go ahead and make a sweet face. So you have a whole plate here. I just drew, drew some eyes that are closed with some beautiful eyelashes, a nice big mouth, and some rosy cheeks. You can decorate it any way you want. I'm going to show you how to do this one. So. To do the closed eyes, you just do two little curves like that. And then I do one, two, three, one, two, three. You have your eyelashes. Now let's do a big smile. And those little curves again on the end make the smile even bigger. And then you can take any sort of pink crayon if that's what you choose to do and color in those rosy cheeks. Just 
just like so. And you can color the eyes there. You can really do whatever you want. So pretty. I hope you have fun with your lucky unicorn. All right, come and pick up your kit at Kid City in Wakanda Area Library. Fun new crafts still every single Monday, every week. Stop by today. Bye for now.